So it's now Thursday morning. The session was Tuesday. We're back in the studio uh, and we still have the amazing Zillia microphone and the Zillia Studio software running on my MacBook Pro. Um, so what are we going to do with it? So we've got all the tracks from the session that we recorded, 19 pieces in all. Uh, I think we recorded five tracks, uh, multiple takes, just so we got some options, just in case of mistakes or squeaks or, you know, human error creeps in. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to mix the track a couple of ways. First of all, we're going to show you exactly what you can do with the Zillia Studio software, and it's very, very cool. Uh, we'll then also mix the track in Pro Tools, but enough about that for now. Uh, the track we're using is by composer Benedict Drydern. Uh, it's called uh, From a Suite for Tango Postcards. Uh, this is the third one. Um, and it sounds lovely. It sounds really, really cool. Um, but the proof of the pudding is, of course, in the listening. So let's go over and actually have a listen to some of the stuff that we recorded. So you can see here all the tracks we recorded, plenty of them. Um, you can name these as you go through. I named the first one and then I think we went for uh, this take number three was the one. So this is basically what you get when you play back straight from the headphone jack of your recording system. <laughs> Now, it's quite a nice stereo recording. I'm fairly happy with that, other than maybe the cello being a little bit loud. So what we can do is go in to the mixer mode. Now, normally this would take a certain amount of time to process and render, but because I've done it before, um, obviously it's automatic. And we have a master volume control now. And you can see how that's changing the waveform. Very rudimentary, but hey, it works. We then have our play control. Let's pull that back a little bit. And we have our four different instruments. Now, the cool thing here is we have a pan control and a level control, and we also have solo and mute. Now, this is where things get clever. If I play this back and solo the cello, you can hear the amount of rejection we're getting from the other instruments. And I think that's actually incredible. When you think this thing's got 19 capsules, it's doing all kinds of maths, and we're getting that level of rejection. These guys were sat no more than three to four meters from each other. Um, I'm guessing the game was quite high because you know they're quite quiet instruments by comparison to a full drum kit. Uh, there's no gain control, there's no actual setting of the levels using the Zillia Studio System. So I've just spaced them now using kind of a very basic kind of string quartet layout. Cello hard right, first violin hard left, um, second violin kind of mid left and viola mid right. Okay, so there's my mix. Something resembling that anyway. Got a reasonable balance left to right um, and it sounds really nice. That's great, of course we can effectively bounce this to disc, create a stereo track, but what's even cleverer is if I go into export tracks, I can create a master track or I can separate out all the individual tracks and that's what we're going to do. So we've pulled over the five different exported channels, if you like, over into Pro Tools. We have our stereo mix, which is the mix that was produced within the Zillia Studio software. And we have the four extracted instrument channels, the four different corners of the microphone take, if you like. The stereo mix sounds pretty good on its, in its own right, no reverb, no nothing. However, in Pro Tools, we've got a bit more creative and applied some plugins and thrown some goodies at it. Cello was quite difficult. Cello was quite a difficult one because it would almost sound phasey, almost. And one thing I didn't want to do was line everything up using auto-align, because I think that's kind of cheating in this case. We want the mic to be in phase with itself, if that makes sense. So didn't do that. 
Maybe I would if I was this was going for an actual commercial mix or anything like that. But hey, in this case, we didn't do that. Uh, the cello sounded kind of weird, so I've gone with the Amazing Surfer EQ, also from the guys at Sound Radix, uh, and the Marg EQ. It just fixes a few things and just makes it sound lovely. We've boosted the top end a bit to give us some, again, some bite, if you like. Okay, you got me. I'm impressed. We're giving this system, and I am going to call it a system because it's the microphone and the software. The two are integral. Um, we're giving it quite a hard time by using four, should we say, similar sounding instruments, uh, instruments of the same family. Any video I've seen done by the guys at Zilia, um, you've got a guitar on one side, drum kit on the other, percussionist, a vocalist, someone playing an accordion, all very different sounding instruments. Now, as I've said before, I don't entirely understand the maths and all the goodies going on behind. Uh, even if they explained it to me, there's a fair chance, being a simple boy, I won't understand it anyway. But it's doing some seriously clever stuff. And what's more clever is that actually the result pre-Pro Tools, pre-processing, pre-tweaking was still very, very good. So if you just want to put this up on YouTube with it, with your band, your string quartet, your um, ensemble, that covers many bases, isn't it? Um, this is a seriously good piece of kit. Uh, is it going to replace a mic locker with £10,000 worth of gear and a studio and all that sort of stuff? No. Is it designed to do that? No, I don't think so. The guys at Zilia, I mean, even in their marketing blurb, say... This is how to get a great demo. If you still want to record using multiple thousands of pounds of microphones, do that. But this is be better than any demo I cut when I was a kid with a microphone around a band. In some ways, I really like this because it goes back to that kind of bluegrass, the old school style of recording where you'd get people to stand around a microphone. And if you want it louder, you get closer. And if you want it quieter, you get further away. Now, I don't entirely know how that would mess with the, the calibration and all that sort of stuff. You'd probably have to be bang on the money for kind of um, geometrically moving backwards in a straight line. Who knows? Um, maybe that's one for further testing. But uh, it sounds great. It's a really impressive system. Price-wise, this is very much to be confirmed as far as I'm aware, but I think we're looking around about the thousand euros mark, which actually for a really good quality recording anywhere really easily. Okay, my laptop's currently plugged in, but the battery life would more than get you through a reasonable session. Uh, what's not to love? The guys in the string quartet actually said, we could do this ourselves quite easily. Put one of those up in the middle, uh, and just get on and record. What's not to love? So I hope you enjoyed that look at the Zilia recording solution, the microphone and the software. Um, we'll leave you with the full video of the, the mixed version of the audio with the string quartet. Uh, thanks to the guys from the Elite Qu String Quartet for allowing us to go in and um, hijack their rehearsal. Uh, I do have an in with one of them, as you can't tell facially. Um, but for now, my name's James Ivey, and we will see you again very soon for some more Gear Talk. Mm -hmm.